Legend tells of a small but beautiful city whose people were happy and safe. Yet they were adventurers at heart and longed to explore the limitless blue of the ocean. And so a brave crew set out. Uncharted islands emerged on the horizon, and the small band of explorers felt the joy of seeing what none had seen before and of doing what they had been born to do. But on the twelfth night, a storm swept down upon them. Dawn found the explorers strewn along a deserted beach, safe from the storm but far from their city with no hope of finding their way back. And so the new tribe mates set themselves to work, determined to survive and to make a new home on this faraway shore. Would you like help learning how to play? Your little tribe's people are determined to make a new life on this island, but they'll need plenty of help and guidance along the way. With your leadership, perhaps they'll build a thriving city to rival the one they left behind. First, let's have a look around your tribe's new home. To explore the island, click on the ground, hold down the mouse button, and drag the mouse. Well done. Now click on a tribe's person to select them. Great, a selected tribe member is surrounded by a white circle. Their name and other basic information are shown on the right. Let's pick up a tribes person. Click on them without letting go of the mouse button. Then drag your mouse around. Huh? Excellent. Just like you, your tribes people will experience joy and wonder, fear and sadness, and occasionally even anger. To really learn what's on someone's mind, you'll need to select them. Try selecting a different person. Good. The selected tribe member's thoughts will appear at the top, revealing all their ideas, wishes, hopes, and their dreams. Some people love the rain, but others get a little sad and even annoyed by wet conditions. This can make them work more slowly until the weather clears. Look, perhaps this crate was swept overboard during the shipwreck. Seeing how they're drenched from the rain, surely someone won't mind swimming out to get the wreckage. Pick up an adult castaway and drop them on the crate. Huh? Huh? Well done! Always watch for other debris that may turn up near the shore. You never know what useful gifts the ocean may bring. The ocean will also be crucial as a source of food for the tribe. Speaking of which, they must be starving. Drop an adult in the water and they will begin to fish. Huh? Huh? That's it! Fishing is fastest where the fish can be seen jumping. Once a tribes person catches a fish, they'll bring it to the food pile in the center of the village. To center your view on the selected tribes person at any time, simply click on their portrait to the right. Try it now. Good. Now try clicking on the arrows to either side of the portrait. 
This can be a very useful way to shuffle quickly through your entire tribe. Your tribe can cook their food over this fire pit, but first you'll need to help them gather some wood. Pick up a tribe member and drag them onto a nearby tree. Huh? Good. When it's ready, the harvested wood will be carried to the village's wood pile. Wonderful! Your fire will burn as long as there is wood in the woodpile. A tribe with a fire is warmer, drier, and happier. And most importantly, they can cook their food. While your little people are busy gathering supplies, let's learn a little more about them. Select a tribe member, then click the Details button. Here on the Details screen, you can browse through the members of your tribe by clicking the left and right arrows. For now, your people are stuck with the clothes they sailed in. But later, the Change Clothes button will allow you to design custom outfits for your tribe. To assign a skill as a priority, click the checkbox to the right of that skill. You can also set skill priorities by setting someone to a task, as you've already done for fishing and wood gathering. When you have finished exploring the Details screen, click the Back button. Uh-oh, some of your castaways have fallen asleep on their feet. Workers are slower when deprived of a nap, so you'll need to build a place for them to rest their little heads. Click the Build button. Welcome to the Build screen. Move your mouse over the buttons on the left for information about each structure. When you're ready, click on one of the two huts. Good! Next, choose a spot for your tribe's new hut. The hut will turn red if it's too close to another object. When you've found the perfect place, click to lay the foundation. Great! Now encourage construction by dropping a tribe member on the hut. In addition to wood, your tribe will need rock to build this hut. Teach someone to harvest rock for the tribe by dragging them onto a nearby rock. Good. If progress on a building ever stops, it may be due to a shortage of wood or rock. Your tribe's supplies are tracked by the displays below. Wait, did you see that? Something fell from the sky. It's a magical fragment of stardust. Stardust will be an invaluable resource for your little tribe. Drop a tribe member onto the stardust to collect it. Huh? Huh? Wonderful. Now let's get a taste of what stardust can do. First, click on the Stardust button. Now, click on the hut to use the Stardust on it. Good job! See how helpful Stardust can be? Watch for fallen Stardust as you explore the island and try using it on lots of different things, 
even your tribespeople. Congratulations on your tribe's first trophy. Click View Trophies to go to the trophy screen. Some trophies are simple to acquire, but others will challenge the most resourceful of tribes. Click the back button when you're ready to return to the game. It's time for your little tribe to start growing. Pick up an adult woman and drop her onto an adult man, or the other way around. That's it. Now the happy couple will make their way indoors. With any luck, they'll emerge with a brand new baby for the tribe. Congratulations! Your tribe has just grown by one. Babies inherit a mixture of their parents' traits. This will be apparent when the baby grows older and has a full head of hair. If you like, you can give the new baby a name of your choosing. Rename your tribe's people at any time on the details screen. Your tribe must be eager to expand their village. A science station will let them learn more about the world around them. Click the Build button. Next, select the science station. Now find a good site for your tribe's new science station and click when you're satisfied. Good! While that's being built, let's get a better view of your tribe's surroundings. Click on the Map button. The Map screen pauses the game and gives you an aerial view of your tribe's entire island. If you look closely, you can see your people and their small but growing village. To zoom in on a location, move your mouse over the map and click the mouse button. That's it! As you can see, the map screen provides a fast way of moving your view to other parts of the island.
Look, it's a chunk of rare moon dust. Moon dust is even more powerful than stardust. Drop a tribe member on the moon dust to pick it up. Great. Now let's put your tribe's new discovery to use. Click the moon dust button. Okay, now let's lend a hand in the construction of the science station. Click the partly built science station to use the moon dust on it. Perfect! Moon dust is more powerful than stardust and it can affect things in different ways. Who knows what effect it might have on your little tribes people. With their science station fully built, your tribe can start doing scientific research. Drop a tribe member onto the science station to begin. Huh? Huh? This person will now explore the natural world through science. Next, click the science button. The tribe's current science points are shown at the top of the science screen. Through research, your tribe will be able to construct new buildings, create custom clothing, and more. The science station also lets your tribe mix powerful potions. Click the potion button to go to the science lab. A potion is made by mixing together an element, a liquid, and a catalyst. Let's try a recipe that one of the castaways remembers her grandmother making. Click on the buttons for wood, seawater, and stardust. Then click Mix Potion. Good! Some potions affect people, while others affect things like buildings or the sea. This potion affects the ground itself. Try clicking anywhere on the grass to use it. Grandma's potion may not be practical, but it sure is beautiful. Some potions can enhance your people. Others affect the weather, and still others are purely decorative. Some ingredients are gathered by dropping people onto them, like these colorful mushrooms and this seabird guano but more powerful ingredients will take ingenuity to discover. There's one more thing to learn about trees. Click on any tree now. Good. When a tree is selected, the harvest button appears. Click the harvest button now to place a check mark on it. To preserve a tree or rock, uncheck its harvest button. But don't be too concerned about chopping down trees. With research, your tribe will one day learn to plant new ones. Flowers are another way for your tribe to customize the look of their island. Let's give this a try. Click the build. To plant flowers, click on the flowers icon. Select a flower color. Then click anywhere to plant a flower. Go ahead and try it now. Good. Newly planted flowers are shown as small mounds of dirt. Try the spray option by clicking its button. When you're finished, click the close button. Now let's make the newly planted flowers bloom. Drop a tribe member onto the flowers you just planted. Huh? Excellent! This little tribes person will have a green thumb in no time. A place of magic and mystery. Your tribe's new island is also home to these mysterious objects. 
Every island in the game has a different assortment of them. Perhaps one day you and your tribe will uncover their secrets. Your little tribespeople will continue to work, sleep, and play while you're away, even when your computer is off. Come back to the island and check on them regularly as they'll need your guidance and encouragement every step of the way. Your tribe's story has only just begun. While there's plenty more to explore and discover in my tribe, you and your little tribe are now well on your way. Your tribe's future is entirely yours to decide. With your continued guidance, perhaps your tribe will one day become a great and noble nation.
Your tribe's researchers have earned enough science points to unlock some new technology. Click the science button to go to the science screen. Each category shows the points required to unlock its next level. Choose a category whose requirements your tribe has met and click research to unlock the new technology. Well done. With science, there's no limit to the wonders your tribe will achieve. Click back when you're ready.
You've just set a priority for a child. While children are too young to work, setting a priority ensures they'll be ready to pursue that skill when they grow up. <laughs> 